In this chapter we are going to cover compositing in Blender. This chapter is split in four parts. The first one is the one we are going to see now, which is uh, lighting, actually. It's not directly related with compositing, but we need to light it anyways. And I thought it will be not important, but uh, it will be yeah, interesting for you to see how I light all, uh, this scene. So for this I set up a pretty simple material, just 50% gray. And I put the same material to all my objects. No specular, regular lighting, shadows, no textures. And about the rendering I just disable the anti-aliasing. And uh, ray tracing, scattering and all that kind of things that makes render slow. So as you can see there is actually geometry there, but it's all, yeah, it's black, there is no environment even. So let's try to add a, a world first, material settings, world, there, new, let's put it, uh, yeah, 50% great as well, let's enable ambient occlusion because it's, it's really nice to have some simple lighting or s at least some lighting all dark is not good so let's uh, just enable approximate amino occlusion ray tracing is nice and precise but it's too slow so let's use approximate correction up to one so blender tries to fix all this over occlusion thing going on now you can't see it because it's in one so it's better pixel catch as well and as a method we are going to use uh, both we, by default is in add so blender with add light more light than shadows but it's, it's nice it gives nice like basic lighting but it uh, can mess with your lights actually so if you use sub will be nice for compositing and if you use both it is like a mix between Adam and sub so it will add lighting and it will make strong shadows but you can always trick it with uh, with lights with lamps and that's what we are going to do now I started with a simple emmy light there try to make it point to the camera so we get this nice rim light effect around our characters or also like a fall off effect this is one of all the methods the, there is out there for for making a fall off effect so I think it's better we also will need some direction there as a basic lighting it's okay but I need some direction actually so I will just duplicate this change it uh, to make it to change its position and rotation easily I will just set it up as a, my camera so I just select the lamp go to view menu menu then cameras then set active object as a camera now our lamp is our camera and that's very nice for tweaking these kind of things like the lights the amount of light the cone, the size of the cone and everything if you want to go back to the to your actually your real camera just press ALT O not good enough, let's move it quickly from this view Okay, 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 too much fixing. Render. Eh, it's not that bad. Still, it's really dark. 
Yeah, on the mouth of both characters is really really dark. So let's try to move this light a little bit. There. I would like to make Merlin, the little fish, try to like go to the light or something, and then more dark where the shark is. Not more dark, but at least like he's coming from the dark part. So uh, it's better. There is some error there with the shadow. As you can see, it looks horrible. That's our buffer. Shadow buffer size actually. Shadow buffer size is like a render, is like an image that is displayed and it depends on the on how big your cone is on your shadow and your spot lamp. So depending how big your cone is, it's uh, it's going to be your shadow buffer size as well. So it's always better to it, it increase the render time. So it's be al always better to keep your cone smaller, so as small as you can. Unless you don't mind about render times, of course. So I think that's it. Oh, let's add some. Another fill light the bottom. Little bit of color. Okay, that's better. Oh, there is one thing missing actually, which is the uh, actually the caustics texture and uh, the effect I, I have in the original render. So I will do that with a what's it, a spotlight. We'll just duplicate the the spot I had, remove shadows, add a texture, type lamp. And now I'm going to select the made with caustic generators.png file because it's made with the caustic generator. The GPL software for I think it's only for Windows, yeah. I was I was using Windows when I made this original image. Yeah, shame on me. So let's enable no RGB. So Blender will not care about the or RGB colors from the image, we'll just take the values of it. So the bright parts and the dark parts of it. So since I have black as a color right below, it took the bright areas from this uh, from this image and tries to map black on them. Now I set it to negative, so now it tries to map white. But actually it's, it's using the other color, the dark color of it, of this uh, image. So as we can see we have uh, caustics all over and uh, I'm now changing the distance of it, of this spot lamp because I don't want caustics all over. I don't want them to be in the whole scene, I just want them to be on the head of the characters and also a little bit on the floor, on the well, on the sand in this case. Well, kind of sand, <laughs> soil gray. And now it works. We got a little bit on the sand. We don't have anything on the on the back. We um, but we got it also on the characters. So that's it. We can start working with this. <laughs>